Michigan State won the toss and defer. They'll take the wind in the first quarter and get that great defense on the field first. Kevin Muma kicks off for the Spartans. And with that breeze, no chance out the back of the end zone over the head of Amir Abdullah. It's Martinez, but he can hurt you both with the run and the pass. And right away they start with Abdullah, who rushed for 110 against the tempo. That is customary for Nebraska. They like to play at a fast pace. It swung out to Kenny Bell. And he has a first down with a game. It makes it difficult to get open downfield. Full house backfield and the option pitch is dropped by Imani Cross. It's a free ball and Michigan State has it. Shalik Calhoun with the fumble recovery. His fourth of the year that leads the Big Ten. He was already the conference leader moving Nebraska defense. Now the Spartans line up quickly on third and two. Langford again has the first down inside the 28. Gregory move him around bring him from different angles leads the Big Ten in sacks. Had three last week and here he comes. Deep throw over the head of his intended receiver and almost intercepted by Andrew Green. 45 yarder with a strong wind at his back. And he played the hook beautifully. Last week against a fast rushing Michigan team. Back to the ground with Amir Abdullah. Drags Curtis Drummond with him. And he has a first. He needs to get the ball because he's the tone setter for this Cornhusker offense. Armstrong after the fake to Kenny Bell. Looks like the first two plays of their first possession. Kenny Armstrong's going to look to the wide receiver on that bubble screen. Three receivers to the left and a throw and it is intercepted. Curtis Drummond with the interception for Michigan State. Connor Cooks 0 for 3 passing. They blitz. Cook running for his life. Gregory's there and Cook throws it away. Well, we saw it last week against Michigan. In finance. Third down and two. Armstrong working against the number one third down defense in the country. Abdullah doesn't get there. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Well, the computer diagnosis errors earlier, but now they're starting to settle in. Now they're getting in the right gap, Sean. Gap integrity is key. Wildcat formation here with Delton Williams lined up to take a direct snap. He juggled the snap, searching for a hole, and he's dropped at the line of scrimmage by Michael Rose. Who's had a terrific first quarter for John Papucci, to middle linebacker in recent weeks, so that he would be the communicator on defense, and they think he's done a terrific job. Here's a big punt with the win by Sadler. It is muffed by Jordan Westerkamp, and he's tackled and then lost the ball. But they're going to rule Westerkamp down by contact. Hearing the call on the punt. And Chris, we watched it a lot of times during the commercial. It looked to us like the ball was coming out before Westerkamp hit the ground. Yeah, you're going to see right here he's going to lose possession, and that ball is loose right there before the knee or the arm hits. By Nebraska with a knee on the ground. That ruling was subject to further review. After further review, it is determined that the punt was possessed, fumbled, and recovered by Michigan State at the eight yard line, where it will be Michigan State's ball. First and goal. One of the reasons why the coaches love Cook is his poise. It's tossed to Shelton again. Touchdown, Michigan State. Michael Geiger for the extra point. And it is good. Coach O's got him going. Nebraska has had a history last couple of seasons of rallying back from double digit deficits, including their win last year at Michigan State. Abdullah runs for a. 
Faked it to him. And the catch made by Sam Birch. Battling for every inch. Finally dragged down by Isaiah Lewis, the safety. Last week in the late pitch to Abdullah for the game winning score against Michigan. Abdullah back on the field now in second and five. Armstrong faked it to him. Man wide open. It is Birch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Extra point by Pat Smith up and good. Connor Cook, plenty of time, running out of time, and has a man for a first down. McGarrett Kings breaks a tackle. And Randy Gregory had against Michigan was the Nebraska defense last week. They were one of the worst in the country heading into that game on first down defense. They bring a blitz and it's swung out to Langford. Randy Gregory again runs him down. That was his responsibility. Just got there late. He had three sacks last week, the most by a Husker since and Sue in 2009. There's a first down for Langford. Crossing midfield to the third down and six. Connor Cook out of the shotgun. Design roll, and it is caught in traffic. Crowd doesn't like the spot. Seven that's really small. <laughs> it's stretching. 300 pounder. <laughs> True freshman from Kansas City. Langford running room to his left. Hooked up by Siante Evans. More effective in the run game than was the previous starter, Andrew Maxwell. Cook, design roll, caught. At the 15 by Tony Lippett. Either that or he's a good actor. He's acting. He comes out to the right. It's a trick play. Lippett trying to pass it. And the receiver didn't see the ball coming. It falls incomplete, but they do turn down the penalty. There's a 25 yard field goal try by Michael Geiger. Already connected from 45 today. And that one's good. Armstrong gave it to him again. Amir Abdullah out of bounds at the Michigan State 48. Armstrong lost one and it's almost intercepted intended for Quincy Anunwa. Third and six with seven minutes to go in the half. Cook throws. Was it caught? Yes. What a catch by Benny Fowler, who got walloped. On second and ten, look out for Gregory. Never saw him coming. By the time he did, it was much too late. Nebraska leads the Big Ten in sacks. Gregory, an emerging star these last few weeks. Plenty of time for Cook, and it is caught. Lippitt stays on his feet and appears to have the first down by about a yard. Connor Cook, you see why. That type of throw. Here's the pitch, Siante Evans. And Cook did very well to hang on to the Spartans from their own 45. Nick Hills come in at running back. He goes into the flat and gets chopped down at the 45 yard line. Faster. Third down and eight, under four minutes to go in the half. Cook throws it up for grabs, and it looked like it was juggled and then caught out of bounds, and that's the call. McGarrett Kings couldn't possess it in bounds. Career records at Nebraska, and boy, was he a huge factor in that win last year at East Lansing. Armstrong fumbles, another turnover. It looked like for a second, Nebraska might get it back, but the Spartans have it at the 22-yard line. Well, it's big play, Shalik Calhoun's gonna cause this fumble. Huskers. They ran a pretty safe play there, with Michigan State out of timeouts. Just keep it in the hands of your quarterback and punt the ball with the interceptions. 
in the two games prior to last week in each of those two games. Cook on the run throws good catch by Kings. And he's inbounded. Nebraska running men off the field. They just did get them off. Langford through the middle. He's down to the six. The clock will stop to move the chains. First and goal. Spartans get to the line quickly. Langford powers to the end zone. Touchdown. Well, he carried several defenders for several yards. You've tends to go if they tackle him anywhere in play. The clock's going to keep running. It's probably got into a situation where Michigan State was going to 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. Monty Cross is the running back now. The line now is the 49. And Cross through a big hole. German, the only man with a chance, and he couldn't get him. Touchdown, Nebraska. Longest run of his career, 51 yards. And it's a one score game. That hit on Kenny Bell. The ball came all the way back, and Nebraska rallied from 10 down instead of 17 down to win. First year at Nebraska. Cook with time. Throws caught. First down. Huge conversion for Michigan State on the completion of Benny Fowl. Overall, Michigan State 7 out of 14. A terrific number against the great third down defense. Gregory double teamed again. Cook still flushed. Running out of time. Throws it away. Avery Moss was right in his face. And they're at their own one yard line. And Armstrong lost the ball. And Michigan State has it back at the four yard line. Trey Waynes recovers. The fifth turnover by the Cornhuskers. Here. The line of scrimmage is the three. Langford turns the corner and has the touchdown. Fuck this shit. Fuck you. This offense got better when Connor Cook got better, obviously, because he's the Geiger on for the extra point. Now 24 points for Michigan State off the five. Nebraska. Bo Pelini, I'm sure his arm is wide. You throw the flag if you didn't see something that you thought was pass interference. Abdullah stays on his feet, goes out of bounds, very close to that first down marker. Which pain? I mean, that's tough to do. Give them credit. They're opening a hole as they did there for Abdullah, who spun forward to the 48. Armstrong hit as he throws, has his man Birch for a first down. Out of bounds inside the Michigan State. They're going to match Bell right there. Bell's matched on Drummond right now. Bell is just 19 yards receiving. Still doesn't look like he's running as well as he usually does. They're lofting it up for him, and he has it. Touchdown! Well, that yardage total got better for Kenny <laughs> Bell. Pat Smith, transferred from Western Illinois, adds the extra point. Runner on today. Michigan State, 7 out of 15. 12 to go. They brought pressure that didn't get there, but the pass is dropped a little bit behind Benny Fowler. He could. Well, Patchwork line hasn't allowed a sack today. Armstrong's thrown it 15 times. He's 8 out of 15 for 128. Passing situation here. Armstrong throws. Man open and he couldn't catch it. Jake Long targeted for the first time today. Cook out of the gun on third down and five. They are only rushed four, and it's a completion. And a big one to Tony Lippett across midfield. And down at the 36. Territory if they gain a few, but not all of the necessary yardage. Cook over the middle. And Langford stopped about two yards short. I wonder if you do today. 
45 yarder. Already hit from 45 in this direction earlier in the game. It's a fake. Sandler takes off running. And he has the first down. Gutsy call by Mark D'Antonio. Gregory came off. Play fake to Langford. Not running. No pressure. And the catch made. Fowler has a first down at the 10 yard line. Five yard field goal or so. Shot. Third and 13. Here comes the all out pressure from Nebraska. Cook throws. Touchdown, Michigan State. Keith Mumphrey. A perfect throw. Great execution all the way around by Michigan State. 96 yards of offense. But they've executed on the big third downs when they needed to. The blitz pickups. There's Birch with a catch. Trying to break free from Drummond. He could not. So when you play great defense, you're else. Mumphrey. Yeah, who just made the huge catch. Keith Mumphrey. Bernard had a big game and wound up with a scholarship offer from the Spartans. Pass for Sam Birch incomplete. Gregory after Cook who throws and it's caught. Connor Cook with Gregory breathing down his neck found McGarry. So again third and two with three and a half to go. Nebraska brings everybody and Langford runs through for the first down. Roy Alexander might have saved a touchdown with Nebraska. Uttered that quote for the first time at that same banquet that we talked about at the end of last year when he talked about how their season was a matter of inches. Here's Langford. Touchdown, Michigan State. A smile from Coach Tantonio. That's good to see. Maybe that's what he meant. You'll be the ones to bring a rare smile to my. 37 yards, career high 32 carries for Langford for 151 yards. And the rest of the year. Yeah, knock on wood the way their injuries have been going this year. That's one guy you want to keep healthy. He stays in the block. Kellogg passes to Bell. He's shoved out of bounds by Trey Wayne. Senior. And Coach D'Antonio thought it was a very hard decision. He has so much respect for Maxwell. How well that young man has handled it. How much of a team player he's been. Didn't poison the atmosphere. He's been very supportive and helpful. Who's in a fight right now with Michigan. Blitz off the corner. They brought Bernard off the corner. Blitz. Tariq Allen with the catch. His first of the game. <laughs> Allen, another catch at the 20. Extends the drive. And give Nebraska credit once again. This one at least nine each of the previous five seasons. Nope. Three other teams. Yep. Alabama, Oregon, Boise State. I think those teams like their coaches. There's a touchdown by Amir Abdullah. And if you talk about a team being a reflection of its coach, have these guys quit? Never. And that guy, that's what he reflects, that's what he builds, and that's what they are. Well, the extra point up and good. That's 28 points that matches the most Michigan State's given holder. He was icing his right knee, by the way, after that. <laughs> that's the most contact he got all year. Luckily, he's a left footed punter. Huge win for Mark D'Antonio and the Spartans.